The Season 2 Reloaded update brought a ton of nerfs and buffs to the meta, so I'm going to be going over my top 10 favourite weapons to be using right now in Season 2. So I'm going to start off with the Bruin MK9 LMG. This got a big buff to its overall movement so you don't feel quite as sluggish while you're running around with it. And I like to use the Spirit Fire Suppressor on this one just to keep you off the radar. And I also like to use the XRK Horizon barrel on this just for extra bullet velocity and gun kick control. I use the Jack Glasses Optic now, pretty much most of my weapons as you'll see as we go on throughout this video. But if you prefer something for a bit more longer range, I would suggest using the either the Intless Cast Optic here. because You get laser of that, so it's like having six attachments out all at once. Or you can use the most obvious one, the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5X. We use the 60 round mag on this one just for added mobility, aim down sight, speed, all those good things on this one. And it's more than enough to be taking down whole squads of enemies. And of course the Bruin Heavy Support Grip for the underbarrel on this one. Now we have one of the best SMGs in the game over the past few weeks and it's still very, very good. This has very little recoil and a really fast TTK making it a must to use in ranked resurgence. You want to use this Zen Compensator Flash Hide and Muzzle, the Thor 90 Barrel on this one for added aim down sight speed and sprint speed, the Folding Stock on this one for recoil control and gun kick control, a nice big 50 round mag for this, and the DR6 Under Barrel Hand Stop for aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, movement speed, all those good things. Now one of the more fun loadouts you can choose to use is the double Ram 7 and Ram 9 loadouts. And starting with the Ram 7, despite getting a couple nerfs, it's still probably the best AR you can use right now. You want to use the Cassis Brake Muzzle with the Cronin Headwing Long Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support Under Barrel, the 60 Ram Mag and the HVS 3.4 Pad. Some people like to run an Optic on this, so if you don't like the Iron Sights, I would suggest you can get rid of the Under Barrel, the Bruin Heavy Support and you can pit on say the Jack Glasses, the Slate or the MK.3 Reflector Sight if you so wish. And here we have this little brother the Ram 9, reminds me so much of the Fennec from last year where it's fast TTK, fast mobility, low recoil and just overall really really fun weapon to use. We want to start off again with the Zen Compensated Flash Hide and Muzzle, the Speedway V5 Short Barrel, the HVS 3.4 Pad, nice 50 round mag on this one and the DR6 Hand Stop as well. Now we have two weapons that aren't quite the very top of the meta but are still very very viable to use and extremely fun to use especially at medium to long range. The MTC 7.62 battle rifle in particular although not quite as good as it once was is still very very hard hitting particularly at medium range. You want to start off with the Cassis Break L muzzle, the MTZ precision blackthorn barrel, again the glasses jack optic, the close quarter assault stock and a 30 round mag. That is the only downside to this is the only having the 30 round mag unless you do the 40 round mag glitch a few weeks ago but apart from that it's still really really good and even with the 30 round mag you can still slay enemies easily and the SVA 545 is extremely fun it's particularly if you can tap fire it and control its recoil doing that is one of the hardest hitting assault rifles in the game and you want to use the spirit fire suppressor muzzle the STV precision barrel I like the Corio Eagles Eye optic on this one just for the extra range but again you can use the inlet's cast or a bit closer range use whatever you prefer the slate the jack glasses optic or the MK.3 reflector it's entirely up to you in personal preference we're getting big 60 round mag on this one which makes it even better and for this we use the high grain rounds for extra bullet velocity and damage both Holgers got decent buffs in the most recent update. The 556 has been my go-to to run at the moment, so it's really, really fun to use. Again, using the Spirit Fire Suppressor Muzzle, the Krios 6 Match Barrel, the Jack Glasses Optic, the RB Adder Assault Stock. And again, similar to the MTZ 762, you only got a 40 round mag in this one, but it's still more than enough to take down multiple enemies. It's been one of my go-to weapons to use this week. It's an absolute laser beam to use. And then it's big brother, the Holger 26 LMG, has been slowly climbing up the meta ranks over the past few weeks, probably since about season one. I've been using it on and off and it's been really, really fun. As you can see there, it's named the Growl because it kind of reminded me of its recall pattern of how the Growl from the original Warzone used to perform. So again, you want to use the Spirit Fire Suppressor Muzzle, the Holger Factory Barrel. I'm using the Intless Cast 14 Optic on this one. Like I said before, you just get the laser on there. It is visible. It, when aiming down sight, but it kind of counts as a an extra attachment, so it's really, really good to use. The Ascent Lord stock and the Bruin heavy support grip. Now we have the newest weapon, the Subverter Battle Rifle. 
This has one of the fastest time to kills in the game right now, and although it does have a slightly weird snaky recoil pattern, if you learn to control that, which is quite easy to do, then this is one of the deadliest weapons you can have in the game. We want to start off with the Cassis Break L muzzle, the Dozer 90 long barrel, of course the Jack Glasses optic, we get a nice big 50 round mag for this battle rifle, and the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. Now we have my go-to SMG in the game, the AMR9. Really, really fun to use, fast fire rate, fast mobility, fast everything that you like. You can even turn this into an assault rifle if you so wish, but this SMG class is melting enemies right now. You want to start off with the DR6 handstop underbarrel, the tectonic micro integral barrel, of course the jack glasses optic, 50 round mag, and the Sarkin ZX rear grip. To stay up to date with the meta and all things Call of Duty, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments what your go-to loadout is at the moment. And as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day.